Fade In Out is a song taken from the Oasis album Be Here Now, which was much maligned when it was released. I think even Noel Gallagher speaks ne quite negatively of that particular album. I, I don't know why. I thought there were some good songs on it and lots of great guitar work. One of these songs, like I say, is Fading Out, and this is in the key of D, and it's in standard tuning. It's a good song for beginners. Let me show you why. Okay, the intro is brilliant. It's just a, a D, a variation of a D chord, okay? So it's a D suspended second. So to make that chord, we just make the D. But to give it that slightly uh, ringing tone, we get rid of the second finger at the uh, second fret first string, okay? So let's hear how that sounds. Okay, that, that's still ringing, that's still going, you can still feel that vibrating. Okay, so uh, top tip for this song, let the chords ring out. There's not a busy strumming pattern for this. You can just do one downstroke per chord and that will get you through the song absolutely fine. Now that's really useful if you're starting out as a guitarist and you're also singing. If that's the case, and this is a really good song for that. Okay, but the intro is just this. I have seen listings on this online where people play it as a D. I think it's, I don't, I don't think it's that, that clear cut. Some people say D suspended four. Okay, it doesn't go, not, not to my ear anyway. It's a D suspended two. as busy as you will want to get on this song okay as I say downstrokes is fine let's have a look at those downstrokes on the verse okay so it's that D suspended second chord one downstroke then we go to an A7 suspended four what no nothing to worry about all we're gonna do is this is so easy we just move this first finger to the fourth string from the D suspended second, it's that easy. See that? So D suspended two. Hello, A7 suspended four. Really, really straightforward. Okay, when playing those chords with the D, we don't want to play the bottom two strings, the uh, this five and the six, or the A and the E, however you remember them. It's just the top four strings, let it ring out. Okay, and then when we play the A suspended fourth, the A seventh suspended fourth, sorry, we can then play that E, the, the A note open. Okay, and then something else that Noel Gallagher likes to do, I've mentioned it in some other videos as well, you know, he doesn't like to move his fingers around too much, okay? He's, he's never been considered one of these widdly widdly guitarists, if you like. Uh, he keeps things pretty much pinned down at this end of the fretboard. So with this one, we now go to a G forward slash B. Again, not as difficult as it sounds. We go from that A7 suspended four, and we just move the first finger up another string. And then with our little finger, we move that to the third fret, first string. And again, we play the five strings. We don't play the E open there. Where do we go next? Well, this is the beautiful thing, beginners. We just move our second finger to the third fret, fifth string, to make the C sus two, C suspended two. And again, one downstroke for each of those in the verse. Let's put those together then. So D sus two, A seven sus four, G four slash B, and then C sus two. And then it will go back to the D suspended to for the next part of the verse, okay? So um, let's hear there's two run-throughs of this, okay? So let's let's do that then, okay? So. Tell you this is not 
the greatest of guitars, yet that is still ringing out nicely. And that's what it should do on that one. As I said earlier, really good song if you're singing and starting to learn to play the guitar as well, because th this is a good song to, to play in that manner. Okay, let's have a look at the next part. The next part is great. Okay, so it's this, uh, it, it's the chorus really. Uh, so it's the bit where he goes, uh, you're fading out. But he doesn't sing it in a stupid manner like that. Uh, so with that, it's C suspended uh, two. So that that's so back from the D suspended two. We just kind of reverse those chords really from the verse in the chorus. Okay, so. Okay, so C suspended two, G forward slash B, and then D suspended two. Okay, so I'm just going to play those. Okay, so we've played that three times, and it goes to a more traditional C chord. G fifth and then back to that D suspended two and let that ring out again okay as I said the strumming pattern really just one downstroke per chord you can get a little bit busier with the chorus if you wish but um, it doesn't need to be too busy uh, that that will probably ruin the impact of the song especially if you're playing electric guitar through an amp that that uh, one downstroke will, will take it all the way through um, those segments right let's just have a run through of that then so we've got our intro okay that's um, a couple of those d's and then we go into the the verse so that's d suspended two a seven suspended four g forward slash b C suspended two, back to the D suspended second. Let's do that. Okay, then we go into the chorus. That's C suspended two, G four slash. B and then the D sus2, okay? And then the last little bit of that is C, G5 and D suspended2. I mean, just listen to it now, if there's one place where maybe you could add a couple more um, strums in, it's probably on that open C, isn't it, coming out of the, uh, the chorus, okay. But I think we're just doubling up there, we're not doing anything dramatic with that in terms of the amount of downstrokes. So that's fade in, fade out. If you found that useful, Please click like, it really helps me out and make sure you've subscribed.